Hey YouTube, Pedro the Broke Pepper here with another video. Today is one that I've been wanting to do since I actually started the channel. It's um, gonna be like a cutting comparison between a tomahawk, a machete, and kind of like a mini hatchet. So I'm not gonna be doing any of the more traditional camping and bushcraft axes like a cutting axe or a you know normal size hatchet or anything like that just because everybody knows how those cuts those are obviously going to be the best for the job and those are obviously going to be good the reason i'm doing these is because i feel like these are a little bit more versatile sometimes or just to give somebody a different option because uh not everybody knows the different options because not everybody likes to use a tomahawk for bushcraft and not everybody even knows that you can use a machete for things like this when where i come from this is the only thing we use um kind of my part of miami all the landscapers we, none of us had axes we all did machetes for everything and then as an added bonus i'm gonna put these down for a second an added bonus I'm gonna compare those three to my Arabian scimitar um, obviously this isn't good for bushcraft so I don't want to hear any comments about who's gonna take a scimitar on a camping trip this is just for fun and just for a comparison to see if it can do it um, it's a virgin blade very sharp um, Whenever I show people they want to touch the blade and cut themselves with it for some reason. So it's not a virgin blade. But we'll put a couple dings and dents in this guy by the end of the day. Hopefully I don't stab myself, guys. There we go. I feel like Aladdin. Bam. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, I'm going to take this guy off my back. We're going to start with my mini hatchet. This mini hatchet I got from Walmart. I think it was on special when I got it for about 20 bucks. So it was a pretty good find. And what I really like about it is that in the handle it kind of stows away this little tiny bushcraft bit. So Something I want you to keep in mind though is that none of my blades are virgin blades and my machete I use a lot for all my landscaping purposes but I have sharpened them just for this video just a little bit, not a whole lot. The reason I'm also doing that rather than trying to buy new ones is A, I don't have the money and B, everything is going to cut amazingly the first time you use it. So I'm looking for that 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th cut that is honestly gonna be where your blade starts to kind of cut a little less or um, start to kind of malfunction or fail, things like that. If it's a bad or if it's a bad blade. If it's a good blade, it'll cut amazingly through all those cuts. So, here we go. I'm gonna try, and my test is gonna be nine cuts. I'm gonna do three straight on. If that doesn't count, I'll go a little downer. Three straight three at an angle and three at an angle okay so okay it's not horrible um, that's pretty much exactly how this guy has been cutting since day one I'm not gonna lie I've only used him maybe once other time and I kind of it's small so there isn't that leverage that you want to kind of build up behind it so he, that's kind of where this guy tends to come up a little short it's amazing for camping and for small things but at the end of the day I just felt like it required a whole lot of energy to do these minor cuts but if you guys like it and you thought that's good Alrighty guys, so we kind of just moved our video area just to kind of give my camera woman a little break off her legs. But this one now, I'm going to do the cold steel tomahawk, the trailhawk. 
this guy did not cost me very much i think it was 30 bucks and in all honesty i love this guy i sleep with him by my bed i uh i've taken it camping i've used it to stoke fire now the thing with this that makes this different from other axes is that tomahawks weren't designed for bushcraft they weren't really designed for wood crafting they were designed for fighting and I know that there's a couple preppers and bug outers that like the tomahawk more than an axe because it's very lightweight and it's very versatile in the sense that I could take off the head, use the head as kind of like different de types of tools. But at the end of the day, it just doesn't have the same cutting power as a normal axe. And I experienced that um, the last time I took it camping. But it does have good cutting potential and I do like it, especially for the camping and all that. So without further ado, let's start. That one kind of missed. I'm gonna hit it one more time, guys. That wasn't a great hit. But alrighty. Tomahawk. Put that to the side and go grab the machete. Okay. All right, guys. So the machete is one of those tools that isn't gonna do great everywhere. This is much better for wetter climates like jungle and all that, obviously. Which is why you see everybody in the jungle movies with like a kukri or a machete. Um. Yeah, just because those tend to be a little softer and you know, the blade wants to flex on you and all that. So it makes it better for that type of greenery, trying to get through things in one hit. If you have wood like this, this tends to want to stop your machete and it's not gonna really penetrate as deep. But since I've moved out here to Colorado and I've done my landscaping on my own property, I've used the machete and I think it's really awesome just for bushcraft. This thing is very easy to sharp. In fact, where most people will take their axes and stuff to a grinding stone, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of strife for this. I just rub the blade on the concrete and comes out razor sharp every single time. And I cut like no one's business with this thing. And another thing, I'm gonna say before I start cutting is that a lot of people choke up on the handle like this and they grab it as hard as they can and they just start hitting like it's a hammer. That is not how you use a machete. And I get it, that's how you see it in the movies. That's how it makes sense to grab it because everybody's used to kind of grabbing their hammers and everything real hard and just start swinging at stuff. A machete, you really want to grab it loose. You kind of want to grab it like this. And I understand that some people are kind of scared of that because then they're like, Pedro, it's going to jump out of your hand and hit you in the face. I have been hit in the face with, machete, with my machete before, but luckily it was the butt hand. But when you do this, it's more of a wrist action to cut. And you're not cutting with the flat part like a lot of people want to try. You're actually trying to cut with the round part. This is where all your energy is, and this is the most penetration right here, is this part. That's why when I sharpen it, I only sharpen the edge. And that's pretty much it. I don't focus on this part. So without further ado, here we go. So you see how I'm kind of loosening up my grip on it a little bit, and I'm pivoting with my fingers. So that's kind of how you're going to do it. And as you can see, they weren't pretty hits. I don't know why. This is really early in the morning, guys. I should be ashamed with these type of hits. But as you can see, if they were a little bit more precise, I would have gotten probably about halfway down, if not more. So the video is mainly about these 
three. My hatchet's over there. And again, you know, these tools are really about preference and you know, what you want out of them and kind of where you are and who you are. So for instance, if you're somebody who's gonna be carrying a small bag, not gonna have a whole lot of space, then you know, the hatchet or the tomahawk might be great for you because in all honesty, you could just take off that head, throw it in your bag, put the stick somewhere, or just make a new stick wherever you go if you're that type of person and you're that type of crafty. You know, if you have a bigger bag and you're gonna be in a wetter area or you just felt like the machete is better because you know, it does have a lot of cutting potential and in terms of self-defense, these two are gonna be the best way to go. Um, my opinion, the machete did the best, but that could be that I have loads, 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 loads more experience using a machete on a tree for cutting this type of wood than I do axes, you know? Sorry guys. Cuban tropics we use machetes now for the fun part I am gonna go grab the scimitar I have my camera woman pause the video for a second alrighty so time for the scimitar my Arabian scimitar and I'm super excited to actually use it I'm kind of giddy and everything um, so it's my understanding that with this type of tool or this type of sword that when you swing every swing you do is kind of like a power hit so you kind of want to throw your body into it and that's the type of swing i'm gonna do on this branch guys i really hope i don't break it because this is more for a uh, showcase and all that not uh fighting and use without further ado here we go so Oh. oh, I made it halfway through. I'm surprised it didn't get stuck. Okay, one more. Hey guys, the scimitar might actually be good for camping. Keeps on taking out all of these. But look at that guys, my camera woman wants to come in real close. This is kind of how much the machete penetrates, but it's getting in there. And it could be because of the hammer style blade that this is, where you have all this weight right here and all your kinetic energy right here under this point. Um, and the fact that I'm putting in like my whole body weight as opposed to the those where I'm just kind of like hitting it. And even just with my hand, I'm obviously I'm done a lot more than nine hits at this point. But I'm just amazed that it's doing this well. It's Hey guys, this might actually not be a bad tool. I don't know how well you can carve things with a point like that, but if you're somebody who's planning on doing more, ah, uh, the handle's breaking. <laughs> who's planning on doing more fighting than bushcraft in a SHTF situation, consider a scimitar. And that's it, have fun prepping, be safe, and don't forget YouTube, don't ever not be prepared. Until next time.